Help spread the word by liking, sharing, and subscribing. The more likes, views, and subscribers, the more YouTube pushes my content to other people who also might like and benefit from it. Enjoy the video and share your thoughts in the comments below. It was time to say goodbye to Gold Beach and all its magnificent splendor. We spent two full days moving and photographing our butts off. Next destination, Coos Bay, some hour and 30 minutes north with stops at Sisters Rock, Cape Blanco, and Bandon Beach. Let's go. Next stop, Coos Bay on our northerly trek up 101. Our time on the coast is flying by. Just a few more days and we're done. Sisters Rock is today's first encounter, an unassuming destination that surprisingly leaves its mark. The park that at first didn't look like much actually ended up being quite a lark. Most memorable was the thunderous sea cave at the terminus of its winding trail. A simple reminder from mother nature, compared to the ocean, we are but vulnerable and frail. Just a short drive up this picturesque coast, we found ourselves standing upon a windswept bluff, pondering the life of its original lighthouse keeper, whose job was no doubt lonely and rough. Still heading north towards Bandon Beach, home to fabled sea stacks and sea caves, sculptured over millions of years by wind-driven sand and relentless waves. Lastly, we returned for a sunset at Bandon Beach, though our chances were looking quite bleak. But the clouds finally parted for a few brief moments and the sun gave us just a quick peek. Once again, we didn't get far. Literally right up the road. <laughs> no more than a minute up the road. We got to the Sister Rocks, which we've been shooting along the way, the last two shots. But uh, totally different perspective from here. And we sort of doubted ourselves. We have the camera gear in the car. So ah, let's just walk down and take a peek. Not expecting much. And yeah, that was, uh, that was short lived as we ran back, grabbed our gear, and now we're going back down. Enjoy. Sisters Rock is well worth the stop. It makes for a lovely morning hike, and there's much more here to explore and photograph than we had initially imagined. This coastal area was so serene, which easily drew me into her beauty. The trail takes you down below where you'll find incredible lookouts and even a mysterious raging sea cave. I could have stayed here all day making photographs and we did find ourselves spending much more time than we had expected. And that's not such a bad thing. We have been so blessed with just incredible mid-morning weather. Um, you know, just where the sun is still rather soft and it's, it's easy to work with. Highlights aren't getting blown out. Little fog, little moodiness, and just an appreciation to be here. Magnificent. This coastline is just, just north of Brewerstain and Gold Beach. And it offers so much more variety. When we first seen the sea stacks, it was like, you know, awestruck. And we're thinking, well, uh, you know, after you've seen them for a day or two, it, it's all the same, but that's not the case at all. And this, this stop certainly proves that. This coastal line here is, is quite different. And these stacks are quite different. It's just uh, an extraordinary beauty. It's good to be alive.
me and Mark teleported to Mars. <laughs> if we didn't know any better, we may just have been there. That's cool, that's cool. finally caught up with us and uh, this is uh, the location for the wizard's hat she's deck that uh, portrays a uh, shape of a wizard's hat but we can't see it windy and visibility is very poor but still get a sense of place it was true the weather did finally catch up with us however it would soon clear as you're about to see although the gusts didn't let up and that made for a few challenges in particular our camera gear so this is known as Face Rock, uh, the abandoned beach area. All these sea stacks all have something different to offer. Definitely worth a visit. So we're just scouting now. The fog is starting to lift. It is low tide or just about low tide. So we're going to be able to explore some of these, some of these sea stacks up, up front and close, and you know get some ideas for uh, for photography and better light. Oh, just jump over that. This is magnificent. It's really, really amazing. You know, not having any of this on the East Coast. Just, you know, normally you're used to seeing just a, just a flat, oh, you look out into the ocean, you just see a flat sea. And you know, out here you just have these massive, massive stone structures just coming out of the earth. It makes for a fantabulous photography. Yes, it does. So. Let's explore. We only had one day here, so the way I see it, try and make the best scouting images right now. Yes, we were planning to return for sunset, but there are no guarantees. You are served nature's dish for the day, and it's up to you how you season it. Don't let these conditions bring you down. Embrace the moments and seek the action. It's all around us. In the wind, the wind was calling me. Watch how it races across the beach, intertwined in a dance with the sand, reshaping and renewing alike. This cave gave me a break from the wind and this shot. Find interesting elements and use them to frame and enhance your image. Yeah. And again, seek the action, especially when it's at your friend's expense. Oh, 
Okay, all right, nice and calm, no wind. Oh, you can see where the tide comes in up here. Yeah, you'd be you'd be up to your yeah, up to your neck. This is trouble. Hey Bruce, how we doing buddy? I got you. <laughs> Wish you were here. Wish you were here Bruce. This one's for you, all the black and whites. Shoot it for you. <laughs> After eating, we headed down to the abandoned jetty park to photograph the lighthouse across the way as we waited for sunset. Although it wasn't looking good. The overcast skies were showing no hints of seeing the sun. So what to do about crafting an image when dealing with weather like this? As I mentioned earlier, don't let these conditions bring you down. You can make images interesting, even in flat light. Remember, seek the action and find interesting and supporting elements to enhance your story. Camper found action in the waves and shot a long exposure to give an ethereal, heavenly-like feel. He used the dock pilings as an interesting foreground element to lead the eye to the star of the show, the lighthouse across the way. I love this shot. I studied my surroundings and took a rather unorthodox approach to photographing the lighthouse. I excluded the water from the story, adding mystery to the already atmospheric fog we see in the background. I found these wildflowers from my foreground, which also have action in the reed from the wind. This was a focused stacked image, one for the flowers and one for the lighthouse. There's always something to photograph. Let your mind expand on the possibilities and approach your scene as a kid in wonder. We returned to Face Rock Viewpoint, a seven minute ride down the street. Mark was being pessimistic about sunset and didn't feel we'd actually see the sun tonight. And he actually made a deal with me, he said, he said he'd drink a Pepsi if we got a decent sunset. That's like me, a Nikon photographer, using a Canon camera. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. The camper doesn't think that uh, we're going to get any we're get a sunset tonight. I'm a non-believer. We have a nice sunset tonight. I'm drinking Pepsi. Did you hear that? Poor Kim, drink the Pepsi. <laughs> But it has to be a really good sunset. It's got to be a real good one. So what do we deem it as really good? It's got to be... Uh, I'll be the judge. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh. It's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Is that a sunset or is that a sunset? I mean, you know. That's, the sun is setting, technically. The sun is out. It may not be all the, you know, the, the, the cherry reds and oranges and yellows that camper wants to drink the Pepsi but that's a sunset that is a sunset Wow we were just walking down there earlier today not now
So yesterday, um, Kepler's like, why are you recording why me? Why are you recording me? <laughs> why the back. bleep 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 are you recording me? <laughs> well, good morning. We are down at the coast here in, in Oregon on the uh, Gold Beach. I mean, we should be able to. I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I already swore once. <laughs> I never know when you got the nope. damn thing out. Still a nice shot. I mean, you don't have the... Um... Oh, so I got a little mistrack. I got a little sidetracked there. So what I'm saying is... Okay, so this... This shot is... Ah. Oh. You're in it. The fog is coming in now. Pretty heavy. Uh, some of it is making for some nice photographs. Others... Okay. Thank you, Oregon! Thank you, Oregon! I get it. Well, looks like the weather has finally caught up with us. It is all fogged out. So we've been trying to find the wizard's hat. Camper just talked to two locals down at Face Rock. And they, they cued us in in a secret. We found a secret parking spot down the street. And supposedly we can see Wizard's Hat if we look to the south. Yes. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Look to the south. That's got to yeah. be it. Yeah, There's the steps. There's the steps. Yeah, right? Oh, my God. Oh, well, you know what? 